Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over on the YouTube account. We got another 4,000 diamonds in here. Now we did get a reset on the Nightmare Corridor, which means that we have a new boss. So I wanna go through here and I wanna show you the four man team that I actually defeated this boss. Now, of course, this one is, um, I believe it's the Nightmare or, or the Corrupted, I forget the name of this one, but looking at the four team that I used in here, was actually pretty easy. It's a pretty basic build. So we went in here and went with Rain and then Jerome, and then we also do have Palmer in here. So running three light bears. And then you can see we have loose our um, Liberta right here in the top with the Panda. Now this, of course, you just have to do one single time to actually get some resources out of here. So I did this the one single time, which gave me the rewards right here, killing the Darkness Rising. So that, that's the name of it. Um, Darkness Rising is this boss. So overall, kill the hero with, or kill essentially the boss with four heroes. Collect this one. This is the only kind of special condition that you do have to get. The rest of them will come with time. So even when you look at joining it 10 times, 30 times, those will come in time. Now, out of the Dream Store, I did buy our scrolls and I did buy the insignias. Now, a lot of players have said that if you're getting the scrolls and the insignias, um, and also getting the time emblems and also the Stargazer scrolls. So if you're picking up both of these, it leaves you a thousand short to pick up the hero. So again, you really have to plan on what you're gonna buy within AFK Arena because it is gonna make a big difference. Now, at this point, I'm kind of questioning the time emblems because as you can see, we have 803. We know we're gonna get 50 with essentially the new hero release. Plus there's gonna be a little bit around it. So probably another 30 right there. We have a voyage, so another 40, probably another 90 plus time emblems coming. Plus we're buying them out of the shop every day. We're getting the bonus, bonus one with the deluxe monthly. I feel like we're gonna be sitting on probably close to a thousand time emblems by the time the next hero drops, which is gonna be kind of crazy because we also know that the rates are going up. Now the rates are either going up next patch or the one after that. That is what they have told us. Now also for Stargazers, we're at 156. Now again, we were kind of questioning this on how much stuff you really accumulate if you quit spending in your entirety. Now we know the next hero that is coming up is the Demon Lord and it is going to be um, the slime hero, but overall we know it's gonna be a dimensional, which means if you're free to play, if you're not gonna purchase him, then we're gonna get the new Demon Lord hero, essentially 60 days of saving your resources to go ahead and get the free copy of that hero for the next dimensional hero. Now, of course, saving a little bit of resources aside to build the actual hero. So looking at your signature item, your engraving and your furniture, we've been kind of saving a lot, wondering what is coming down the pipeline. Now, my thought is after we get the dimensional hero, so once the dimensional hero comes up on the test server, once he is up on global, I feel like it is going to be time and it's timeline wise, we're gonna be looking at June, and June means that we're gonna to have to get an Awakened Hero because we have three more for the rest of the year. June, of course, halfway through the year. Got three at the beginning, got three at, this again, the second half of the year. So timeline-wise, we're gonna to have to have a new Awakened Hero, which I'm wondering if it's gonna be a Mauler. Lot of speculation exactly who it is going to be when it comes to the new heroes, if it is really gonna be a new Mauler. Is it going to be a unique Mauler or is it gonna be another one that they're gonna redo? A lot of players were saying Satrana as much as I wanna see Nemisu, but overall, we're gonna to have to see exactly who comes out of here for the next Awakened Hero. I don't feel like any of the more recent heroes, they would do like the Awakened, like Naruko or Curcio or Anasta. Um, I don't feel like um, they might not do, I don't think they would do any of those, but some of the older ones we might see a little bit of a resurgence of with the Awakened version. Then of course we do have the Wilder and we have the Graveborn as well that is coming. Wanna do a couple summons in here because of course we are still building up and looking to build up the new hero. So of course we have four more summons out of here. Unfortunately, we didn't get lucky today with the summons and pulling some copies of these, which again, unlucky there, but we're one summon closer than of course Dragon Isle doing the exact same. So in here, I am not using any more diamonds in here since I got Nyla built and honestly, if you're coming in here, if you do not have Nyla build, Nyla is the one you wanna build out. Other two, not seeing a ton of utility out of, but definitely getting Nyla built out, putting her and only her in this wish list, doing the summons until you essentially get her ascended with one star, because that is where the damage is gonna come from. Now, at this point, I am leaving Nyla in because I need food. Now, we're getting copies of Gorgie, um, and essentially Gorgie and Nyla are gonna be the combination of food to actually feed um, uh, Cassius, and also Polina. Now, overall, I'm not building either of those unless it comes naturally. We could save our scrolls in here, which I'm kind of on the fence, but I, I do wanna do the summons. I do wanna finish them out. 
with more copies of Gorgi. But again, you could get to the point essentially where we could save our summons in here until we get a new Draconis hero. Not sure how long that's gonna be kind of off, but we could definitely do that. Now, of course, in here, we are building Gwen. We need Gwen to actually get a little bit further in the Dragonforge. And of course, Gwen is one of the heroes being used in both the um, Cursed Realm and also the Trust Scramble. We're seeing a lot of play with Gwen within the game itself, which is cool. So we have 16 here. We bought a couple of these out of Nightmare Corridor. We also got them, I believe it was out of the other Nightmare Corridor that just ended. So we got 16 more. Maybe we can get lucky. It looks like nothing in this one. Just some more emblems, which honestly, I'm okay with because we're taking Gwen up to um, up to the higher signature item. We are taking her to a plus 40 as a Draconic Hero. Now you can see we are getting some epic emblems in there as well. And also those Dragon Speak emblems. But it looks like it might not be a copy of Gwen. Last one is not a copy. But again, that brings us 16 closer. Now, a lot of players were also wondering, is this going to be increased? That is a big question mark. My initial thought would say no, that we are not going to see the 2.5% increase um, within the Dragonheart Temple. It's just going to be in the Stargazer and also within the um, Temple of Time. But if we do get a buff out of here, if we do get that 25% boost in here, that would be really, really cool to see if we did have the ability to essentially get the heroes built a lot faster, which of course, using all the resources we already have in here, it's kind of crazy. Now I wanna run through the leaderboard and we'll take a look at Chan right here and show you kind of the interesting things that I'm seeing in here. So you can see we have Estrilda in here and then we do have the Awakened version of Baden with Shimira, okay. Old school Saurus still being used in the formation and you'll notice for some reason, we're seeing a lot of the old school heroes being used. Um, Anasa even coming out right there, which again, a little bit of an older hero that we're seeing. Even looking, we have Hodgkin out of here. We have the twins, we have Grez. That is right, Grez is being used in this formation. So pretty interesting to see what the whales are doing. Now, of course, looking in here, we do have Silas. Big reason why we talk about building him early. We also do have rain in there for the damage amplification. But look at Raku. Now an old school, again, Kren Raku kind of combination. We are seeing him do it incredibly well. And of course, Draconic, there is Nyla. Now we have said this, said this before. When it comes to damage, there's a lot of um, places where she is the best in slot. But Nyla is being used for quite a bit of content. But it's crazy to see Raku that is being brought out for King Arthur. Then of course, the final one here, it is Rem. That's right, guys, Rem is back in the formation. We are also seeing Yennefer in here, which again is kind of interesting. We see Robin Hood. So this is a very unique dynamic that we're dealing essentially with the Grotesque Mage down there. Very, very interesting build on this iteration or this rotation of the Cursed Realm. And then like I was saying with the Nightmare Quarter, kind of the same. So looking through here, we have the original version of Baden. Now he is kind of bugged. That is the reason why players are using him. You can see nine billion damage because essentially he can't die. That That's kind of the broken part um, in here is when he starts getting these up. And of course the damage amplification based on everyone else in here is kind of crazy, especially when you start putting in the collections. We knew within collections were essentially released that some of these would be very, very unique, very broken in game modes. And this is just a very strong iteration of where they are broken with the collections that are essentially put on these heroes. Now looking in here, we do have Orin, which again, looking at the build, looking at the collection, Orin is burst. You talk about, you know, the Awakened version of Thane. Orin is an absolute burst hero within here. Then the Awakened version of Baden. So Baden is being used on two of the six formations we're seeing in here. We have the Awakened version of Athelia, again, a really broken hero. We have the Awakened version of Laika, and the final one is the Awakened version of Thane. So that again is pretty interesting to see that we do have the Awakened version of Thane in here um, that is making a comeback on the brand new boss that we're seeing, which is the Darkness Rising. So we are seeing again a, a build with the Awakened version of Thane. And I wanna play this real quick for you and show you what this boss does. So you can see it's a siren, lures everybody in. Everybody actually kind of stacks on top of each other. When the Siren gets to a certain point within combat, and again, you can see kind of all together right here, Siren's HPs are going down, the little aura that she kind of possesses um, still where everybody is sitting, but boom, turns into a giant sea monster. That is awesome. You can see right back here, the water is flowing on the back. And of course, 
killed very easy there, but it's it's a pretty neat boss. I, I do like the boss that they're doing. Now, I wish they did an incorporation with some of the Nightmare Corridor or even the Cursed Realm bosses within the Guild Hunt because unfortunately, we are stuck with Risen Soren. It has been five years, guys, and I was really hoping for the anniversary event that they would redo the Guild bosses, but unfortunately, they are just the, the time lost or the time forgotten that we're not seeing, unfortunately, anything done with those bosses. Now, here we do have a couple more copies of Gorgie. There is our Elite. So again, we have two copies there, almost a third copy. But overall, we're going to keep summoning Gwen on this account. Um, the rest of these, I'm just going to build again to make a little bit more progression in the Dragon Forge. But we know the new Mauler is already here. And then, of course, the Dimensional Hero is on his way. So very cool. So all right, guys. So that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.